This is Dr. Saad in front of you and today my topic is the anaplasia. But before discussing anaplasia, one thing is very important to tell you that what is differentiation. Once you understand the differentiation, anaplasia will be very easy to understand. So first of all, moving on with the differentiation. That what is differentiation? Differentiation is basically the extent to which the tumor cell resembles the normal cell functionally as well as morphologically. For example, we have a normal cell like this and we have a tumor cell like this. Now we will compare the tumor cell with the normal cell that how much this resembles to it. For example, morphologically you can see that both are circular, both have same size, both have same shape and for example, for suppose they are functionally also they are very much similar, approximately 95% they are similar. So this is called as the differentiation that how much this resembles to the normal cell and if it is resembling to the normal cell to the very high degree for example 95 percent this tumor cell resembles to the normal cell then we called it as the well differentiated means that the tumor cell resembles to the normal cell very much it resembles to the normal cell uh, functionally as well as the uh, morphologically now for suppose that we have a normal cell like this and we have a tumor cell like this. Now you can see that the size is not same, their shape is not same, their function is also not same. So they are not well differentiated but they are poorly differentiated. Clear? They are poorly differentiated. Now one thing I am writing just beneath this poorly differentiated and just you may see it what is I am writing anaplasia this poorly differentiation this poor differentiation is called as the anaplasia now simply I am writing what is definition of anaplasia simple is lack of differentiation this is the anaplasia lack of differentiation means the normal cell and the tumor cell they are not resembling to each other this is called as the anaplasia clear now now this well differentiation which type of the tumors have these characteristics well differentiation those tumors they are the benign tumors clear benign tumors they are well differentiated tumors means these tumors uh, are very similar to the normal uh, cells clear they are very similar to the normal cells and sometimes they are that much similar to the normal cells that they are unable to be differentiated that either it is a tumor cell or it is a normal cell clear so this is the uh, well differentiation benign tumors then poorly differentiated tumors we have the malignant tumors means they are anaplastic and this anaplasia is the hallmark hallmark of the malignancy clear this anaplasia is the hallmark of malignancy means the malignant cells they are always poorly differentiated but once again i am saying that there are exceptions are always there so one exception i am telling you right now in the malignant cell one of the exception is the adenocarcinoma of thyroid this is a malignant tumor but it is well differentiated so the problem is uh, problem occurs that uh, the pathologist when he examines this adenoma uh, carcinoma of the thyroid so he says that this is a well differentiated tumor but this is malignant while we said that well differentiation is the characteristics of benign but as always told you the exceptions are there so just remember this exception that there are other, also other exceptions are present but one exception you have to remember that is the adenocarcinoma of thyroid that is a malignant tumor but it is well differentiated it is well differentiated clear so this is the uh, differentiation and this is now you have uh, cleared that what is anaplasia that is the lack of differentiation now 
those the well differentiated cells we have uh, we not do not need to study these cells because as they are very much similar to these normal cells as we have studied the normal cell obviously the benign tumor cells are also similar so no need to study them now we have to study these cells these poorly differentiated cells so that's why we will be studying the morphologic changes that occur in the anaplasia clear now we are uh, going to study the morphologic changes that occur in the anaplasia so morphologic changes of the anaplasia one by one i am telling you what are the morphologic changes first change that is the pleomorphism what is pleomorphism that there is the change in shape and size of the uh, cell so what happens that i already uh, draw here the diagram that if it is a normal cell and if it is a tumor cell so its shape as well as its size they both will be changed this is called as the pleomorphism means a feature of the morphologic feature of the anaplasia then we have the second one that is the abnormal nuclei or you can say nuclear changes abnormal nuclear changes what are those changes the nuclei of the tumor cell of the malignant tumor cell or anaplastic cell it becomes very much enlarged the nucleoli become enlarged the cytoplasmic to the nucleus ratio it is also increased now normally what happens that the cytoplasmic to the uh, nuclear ratio normally is one ratio four sorry nuclear to the cytoplasmic ratio clear so nucleus one ratio for it means that this is your nucleus this is your cytoplasm so one part will be nucleus and four parts will be cytoplasm but in the anaplastic cells the nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio is increased you can say to one ratio one how see as the nucleus is increased like this is nucleus and this is your cytoplasm so nucleus and cytoplasm the size of both actually they becomes equal that's why the ratio become one ratio one clear so this is the abnormal nuclear changes that occur in the anaplastic cells now we have the third one that is the atypical mitosis atypical mitosis basically any mitosis that is deviated from normal mitosis is called as the atypical mitosis means the normal steps of the mitosis if they are not present if there is any change in those steps that will be atypical mitosis and this is the feature of anaplastic cells then we have the last one that is you can say loss of polarity due to this feature of the cell the cells grow in a disorganized fashion they grow in a disorganized fashion in the sheets or in the masses so this is due to the loss of polarity of the cells we have also some other changes like what happens that these cells the tumor cells when they grow they need the blood supply because they need nutrition but stroma is still insufficient to develop those blood vessels so what happens in these cells there will be central necrosis clear there will be central necrosis central necrosis may present but these four features are very important features clear so these are the morphologic changes of the anaplasia now we are moving on towards the one more uh, i would like to tell you the invasion that what is invasion something about these terminologies they are very important to tell you because you cannot understand my uh, further lectures and these terminologies here i have to define these terminologies clear so that you may not feel difficulty in further lectures what is invasion now for example this is your basement membrane basement membrane and this is your epithelium for for example there is a tumor that is present in this region and it has not crossed the basement membrane or it does not breach the basement membrane so those tumors which do not cross the basement membrane or they occupy the full thickness of this but they do not cross this basement membrane they are called as the carcinoma in c2 clear 
in situ or in c2 whatever you call it so this is called as a carcinoma in c2 that they involve whole of this thickness but does not breach the basement membrane they are called as carcinoma in c2 now as the tumor it invades it it you can say breaches the basement membrane it crosses the basement membrane then it is called as the invasion clear that is called as the invasion and remember one thing this is the property of also it is the property of malignant malignant tumors benign tumors do not invade clear benign tumors they do not invade now one thing more here to tell you that benign tumors they grow slowly so they form the capsule as they form a capsule like for example this is your benign tumor these are the cells of the benign tumor and they develop a whole capsule so due to this capsule they cannot invade clear now in the malignant tumors they develop a pseudo capsule pseudo capsule maybe it may look like this these are the tumor cells clear pseudo capsule may be like this means half of the capsule half capsule so they can invade from this region clear so this is the uh, property invasion is the property of the malignancy clear now in the benign tumors uh, there is one exception that uh, heme angiomas they do not form the capsule i already told you that exceptions are always there so you have to remember that heme angiomas they do not form the capsule while other benign tumors they form the capsule and they do not invade while this one malignant tumors they have the capacity to invade and they form the pseudo capsule and further on after this we will be studying uh, further more uh, means terminologies and after that we will be comparing the benign and the malignant tumors and then you will be uh, means clear about all the concept about the benign as well as the malignant tumors so uh, today's topic we study about the differentiation what is differentiation what is anaplasia what are the morphologic features or morphologic changes occurring in the anaplasia we study invasion what was invasion in carcinoma in c2 we study and some uh, points about the benign as well as the malignant tumors so thank you so much and allah hafiz if you have any qu questions any query you may ask in the video section allah hafiz